We can fight. We have to. We'll fight and we'll make it back to Earth. We have a lot of people waiting on us. So now, we have a bunch of attack points to spend on the skill tree. So, the one says is you can slot these into characters' skills. Um, on the characters. Gotta give some more customization. But you have to develop them once in order to get each skill to progress further. This is actually, actually, that was a really good one to use for our protagonist. I hope I can equip these skills. to go for here is because Chitose's rope mecha has the ability to heat to heal other robots adjacent to her. Um, what I really want to be able to do is after a situation that I can equip her with stuff that will help. With, um, deployments. Because so you got the V Aggressor. What else we got? We have Haro! I'm saving that for a Gundam. But, what? Actually, you know what? We have a Gundam. But you've got the repair kit. I was wondering where that went. What was the propellant tank? You look at the propellant tank. Wouldn't let us use it for during that match, unfortunately. Oh, we were. I know why. Oh, that's clever. I couldn't use the propellant tank, not just because we're the simulator and we're doing simulator specifications, but also we hadn't shown up to Mars yet, which is where we got the propellant tank. Where we got that particular propellant tank. Oharo. So, your move, up your mobility, and your sight, and your ra and range. So basically, this ups my dodge, this ups my speed, and this ups my accuracy. It is exactly the thing to give a Gundam. Vang Ray. Barrier field reduces damage from all attacks by 100,000, but consumes energy while in use. We are already have a problem with low energy levels, so it's not as useful. Um, no available propellant tank. Repair tank and a super repair kit. 
Quantum or computer can proves all your actions since I can speak by ten. That speeds up how much your uh, EXC boosts for that character. I believe the busy buff abilities boost my SP, debuffs enemies, buffs antagonists, Mega Booster, he's moving by 2, COS, Sensor, sensors. I got the same as a horror. Considering our weapons are really good. Oh, hey! This is exactly what I need. That deals with the fact that we're that my in low energy problems. Let's let's look at Huckabee and see what work, what really works here for them. Vulcan Clan, like uh. So the thing is, Huckabee is actually much closer to a melee combatant than Vang Ray is. Most of Vang's major attacks use energy. About the energy boost. Um, I'm the aggressor. Hit by hundred, crit by ten. V circuit. Let's go with the V circuit to be aggressive because the Vang Ray is basically a sniper. Um, Huckabeen, instead, what it needs is. It's Huckabeen. This whole thing is get in close and punch stuff. Like, it's, it's all about mobility. Well, the pilot's all about mobility. So, let's move it, get it moving forward in positions where I can do that. Yeah, because Rain Bay 1 for all weapons besides map weapons, which doesn't work for the big mini missile barrage. And weapons with range of one. He doesn't have anything with just range of one. So, but there's one of his big things is the. Mm. Most of his stuff is ammo. This could work. What really boost his dodge? Let's go with the hypersensory sensor sensors. Now let's go with the EOS to boost the ability to the dodge. Yamato itself. So, mech list, the Yamato. Weapons we have. None of these weapons are map weapons. We get a map weapon later. But these weapons we have here, none of them are map weapons. Two can use energy, both can use ammo. Most of them are pretty good range. So let's actually put some customization into the Yamato itself. And actually what we're going to do 
is for now, we're going to give the Yamato buff, the these buff abilities. Save one more time. And now we've got this. Now, move on to the next installment of the story. Please tell me I'm not doing the DLC mission. Okay, I'm not doing the DLC mission again. Alright. Got burned on that once before. <clears throat> well, this is where Sasha was laid to rest. It is. She was dead by the time Kodai and I found her. She made the long journey all by herself. It was her way of extending a helping hand, I guess. It, the least we could do was give her a proper burial. Should be mourned. We made the ultimate sacrifice. The sacrifice we will honor when we reach this Kanda. We have to make it. I hope you know that, Sasha. We're going to your homeland. That's a promise. From 68, from 168,000 light years away, you set your sights on Earth. You gave us, and in completing the staircase journey, you gave us hope and courage in our hour of need. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. We're off, Sasha. I'll see to it that your sacrifice was not in vain. Do our best, Jatose. What? Was I... Did I say that out loud? Or could it be... Phobia, are you a new type? Wow, I haven't heard that term in ages. I was assigned to, re to a research organization specializing in military technology. That's where I first heard of it. Please tell me they weren't plotting and bring, bringing up cyber new types again. 100 years ago, they were everywhere. People who totally understood one each other, another. It was like witnessing evolution. So think we could avert wars if all of humanity could do that. I feel the same way, Bernadette, and there's no reason to give up on that vision either. What do you mean? I do appreciate the font size on this is fairly large, but theoretically, if for some reason I'm not able to do the voices, that the this would still be appreciable. Think about it. For all we know, we are evolving into new types right this very second, without even realizing it. That's not how new type works. That evolving. That's how mute. That's mutation, which is different. But yes, you could to be mutating into new types. And we may be yet be able to fully understand one of each other. That's quite the optimistic view, Chitose. What other view is there? You were a lot less super optimistic, though we were certainly Genki and Gregarious and go get them in the simulator and the DLC mission. If you ask me, that optimism is our best weapon. Thank you for coming with thank you for coming with us, Tobia. No, oh, thank you. I want to pay my respects to Sasha as well. Oh, will you come up to us to Jupiter as well? It would be my pleasure. There's just one thing I want I would ask of you. What is it, Lieutenant Shima? Would you remove the skull from your Gundam's chest? Uh come again? We would be hard-pressed to allow known pirates to travel aboard our ship. Hans, have you looked at your... I looked at our uniforms, at our hats lately. It has a skull on it. Even so, the skull heart is the soul of the crossbone vanguard. It's what protects us. You can't just erase it. It was a joke and nothing more. Forget I mentioned it. Was it though? You seemed pretty serious. You can keep it, Tobia. Shima, like his father before him, takes protocol very seriously. Your father must have been bursting with pride when you took your first voyage as a, li as a lieutenant. My father is dead. He was killed in the first battle with the Gamelins back on Earth. I'm terribly sorry. You had no way of knowing. For now, we should step back to the ship 
prepare to set sail for Jupiter. Attempt the first and the first attempt at warp speed in human history. We'll cover a fair distance, considering this is only a test. It's incredible. I can't believe we're going to make the trip from Mars to Jupiter in an instant. By any other measure, it should take days. Lorp has to succeed. Otherwise, there's no way we can make the 168,000 light year journey to Iskandar and back inside of here. This warp to Jupiter sounds like one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind territory. Who knows some wonderful quotes, Kisara Kisaraki? Well, quotes like these can inspire us to succeed. Indeed. Why aren't you piloting the, the super robot? The Jupiter Empire will no doubt be waiting for us. How big is their army? Are they really invading to invade Earth once more? I suppose I'll find out soon enough. We arrived at the opening of the warp, sir. Well, this is it. We are about to warp into Jupiter airspace. We may even have to engage the Jupiter Empire upon arrival. Think they'll be waiting for us? I would count on it. This was not our original course of action, but it is vital to the protection of our home. Furthermore, the ent our entire endeavor hinges upon the success of this warp. All crew members should perform their final checks. I've received a report from Engineering Officer Tokugawa. All systems are go. Hey, boss. Ah, what is it, Yabu? Do you really think it's possible to bend space-time? No idea! And get down from there! Sometimes you just gotta leap before you look. Ooh, who knew I'd get to drink booze in subspace? This is going to be a great day. Again with the sake? Are you sure that's wise, Doctor? Who would celebrate an anticipation of mankind's greatest achievement? I mean, how could you not? And God knows if this screws up and our molecules get scattered across hundreds of thousands of light years, I'm not going to be not going to be sober when that happens. We've been saying that for a while now. What is Captain? Kato been buttering to himself all this time. Is that a sutra? I, I suppose it was raised in... Is that a sutra? I suppose it was raised in a temple. But this is a little distracting. Ugh. Sounds like it's over. The Sydney Aquali isn't going to change things anyway. Shouldn't we let our hair down and party it up to lighten the mood? Don't you ever get nervous? She fit in nicely with the, uh the doctor. <clears throat> One minute to warp test. Confirm coordinates of warp of wormhole opening. Confirmed. Jupiter. Spatial point. S8630. Coordinates locked. Increasing speed from 12 to 33 space knots. Okay, that's a unit of measurement, I guess. 36 space knots. Final cap down. Final countdown. Final countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Warp. 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 Those are wondering if that's picture in picture on the Vita version as well. Well, we didn't blow up, which is good, because otherwise it'd be a really short game. Warp complete. Arm coordinates. Jupiter. S8630. S8, our intended destination, sir. How does that coordinate system work, actually? I, 
that doesn't make any sense unless it's like a existing buoy point or whatever. It was a success, Commander. Indeed. Incredible. We did it. We can increase the distance covered by each warp. Even our 168,000 light year goal will be within reach. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Yes, sir. Commencing reconnaissance of the Jupiter Empire. Where are you going, Tobia? Data we indicated from the fallen enemy troops on Mars indicates there's a Jupiter Empire base ahead. I'm going to scout it out. Apologies in advance, Tobia. I haven't been flying the Vang Ray for very long. That's okay, Chitose. You've got a positive outlook that will serve you out just serve you just fine. Yeah, you're right. I'll do what I can to help. Still not sure my Commander Okita assigned me to the reconnaissance unit, though. Because your robot mecha is very fast, hits from great range, and like that—that's two big points right there. Fast and has a really good range. That's because he has high hopes for you. Man, Officer Sonata, have you come to see us off? Would that be so surprising? Uh, is this something to do with the Fang Ray then? Yes, it is. Now that the first warp test is complete, I want to move forward with the exploration of your unit. Please, return safely. Yes, sir. I will return with actionable intelligence. That's the spirit. Don't say. Be careful, both of you. It'll be okay, Belt. I may not look the part, but I believe I've got the toughness for the job. I'm concerned about the Jupiter Empire's bizarre movements. It gives me a reason to believe they are deliberately hiding something from us. My God's telling me the same thing. Thank you both. We're going to figure out exactly what the Jupiter Empire is up to. I await your safe return, Tobia. Thank you, Bernadette. I'm off. We'll be back. Hmm. The analyzer is issued to the port you, look, you asked for. Shouldn't you have canceled deployment in order to get a better look at that unit? I wanted to. It seems Commander Okita has an idea or two about deploying mobile, mobile units. Does he now? Does he now? Yes. But in a situation, it seems it may become an effective anti gambleless weapon. Hello to the viewer on YouTube. Ugh. Don't move. I've got some questions for you. Today is a lucky day. We can get some intel before we make our way to the base. D do you really plan to make a prisoner of me? Well, you can't exactly answer questions if you're dead. So yes, we do in plan fact plan to make a prisoner of you. Let's well, spare your life, of course. Even wars have basic rules of engagement. Rules I plan to follow. Heh. <laughs> what? <laughs> rules of engagement? Don't be ridiculous. I shall never be the prisoner of Earthlings. Those whose souls are bound by gravity. Not so fast. You can't escape from us. Stop. That's not what he's trying to. All Earthlings shall soon perish. Ha! And you two shall be exterminated by Amaro Ray. Did he say Amaro Ray? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Sieg's Jupiter! Unbelievable! He, he destroyed himself! Subjects of the Jupiter Empire are not so averse, and s averse to sacrificing their lives. They are doing so in the name of Crooks Duggety, their supreme leader. He is a very bad boy. That was during the Jupiter War! Duggety is dead now! Why continue that tradition? I guess old habits die hard. Can't get his last words out of my head. He mentioned Amaro Ray, didn't he? Yeah. Does that name sound familiar, Chitose? Name of a legendary pilot from a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago? That would be the One Year War! They told him about 
to put him in pilot training. He was the strongest new type of the one year war. I see. He piloted the, he was the best pilot in Earth Federation history, too. He piloted an RX-78 Gundam. They called him the White Meteor. He had more than a hundred confirmed kills. He is the hero that saved Earth from a falling meteorite. The Shars counterattack. That was that was during Shars Rebellion, right? Yes, they say he was even behind the Axis shock phenomenon. He was truly an incredible man. I think half of it is just preparation for propaganda at this point. Whether he existed at all has become something of a legend within the Federation. Yes, he existed, and yes, access shock and, sh and all that did actually happen. Now he's part of the Jupiter Empire? Doesn't add up. He was declared MIA. Even if he is still alive somehow, he'd have to be over a hundred years old. He was never declared dead. That leaves a chance. But he was in cryosleep. Or maybe he's a cyborg. Jupiter Empire is that kind of technology? We can't let this continue. Let's go, Tobia. We'll contact the Yamato and let them know we're heading for the base. We'd better hurry. The forces we just encountered have no doubt alerted the base to our presence. So this Amara Way is part of the Jupiter Empire. Can't wait to see what'll greet us now. I can't rate is not the word I'd use to describe this situation. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.